All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, uh, May 11th to May 17th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can schedule search or purchase search and then schedule follows and after uh, and as well if you're interested in uh, my tarot classes which are six weeks live at tarot classes uh, you can find in a um, detailed explanation if I say if I may say at uh, my website as well under the tarot classes uh, section so that being said, moving to your uh, reading straight away here of the uh, of the week. First one that we do have, it looks quite promising. That is to be the judgment, which is the very topic of your week. And after that is going to be the Knight of Wands, which stands as the energies feeding and supporting the topic. So it's a big times for you guys. Uh, followed by the next one, which stands as the challenges that you will need to overcome. No wonder we do have the Nine of Swords here, followed by the um, Gifts and the Blessings that you are to uh, enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Strength card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the impression that people have in you. What kind of, you know, how people see you. That is to be the Two of Wands. And the final one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tara is offering. That will be the Knight of Swords here. Okay, so um, major direction, direction swift. It is what we do have throughout the week for you, either in terms of career, relationship, or in life in general. This is what those couple of cards are pointing. So those energies that we do have of the Knights of Wands, pretty much what they point is that they're going to boost your um, adventurous period maybe it is the impression that i need to say here uh, well uh, pretty much goes like that it is that you're gonna see better things or more interesting stuff okay more interesting jobs more interesting enterprises enterprise is the main main focus here you know more interesting partners and so on and so forth so it's like um going for a more exciting life that that is what the energies are gonna make you to do rather like this is the increasing sense that you're gonna have within you and uh, that will put you in a state of experimenting with one thing and another experimenting with one job experimenting with one hobby for example experimenting with one person or another as well how you fit with their life how they fit with your life and so on and so forth now the good thing about those energies it is that once you kind of like find something interesting okay there is without a doubt here that you are to be prepared to do what it takes you know to see it through now the negative points of those energies it is the over adventurous spirit what i mean is that even if you do find a bunch of things that are interesting to you, you may keep on searching even more and more. And what is very common with the Knights of Wands it is that while they, the, the card itself as an energy gives you a very, very strong impulse, you know, a, a powerful drive to go out and explore the world and see what really works for you it also is very prone to burn uh, to meltdowns and burnouts. What I mean is that as soon as you know you reach your outer limits to the passion you do have it depletes very very quickly so it's very important here to be able to say when you are to stop when you have filled up your basket you know with um with enterprises or in other words you have full schedule okay and you stop there rather than kind of like filling your basket as so much that you can't carry it on moving it forward into the future and this is where the good stuff happens, okay? Once you kind of like dapple your environment with all of interesting stuff and things that you are thrilled to explore, one of them is going to prove itself to be exactly what you have needed in order to make a major, major, major improvement into the circumstances of your life. And when I say in circumstances of your life, I'm talking about the entirety of your life. That concerns your career, it concerns your relationship as well. And this is the judgment. 
Judgment pretty much points that so without you even knowing, you actually have found that missing, missing, oh my God, missing, missing piece of puzzle you're trying so much to assemble and especially valid for those who are feeling lost and who are feeling that their life has no direction. Well, it's, this week it is where you're actually going to hit a jackpot into that regard. Now, important thing with the judgment door is that it comes like a, a very unexpected um, circumstances, or rather like very unexpected events that are like a cue, like a wake up call. And it is exactly the thing that you do need to answer. So in order to make full advantage of these times, you have to be always, and I mean, always ready to jump into action. And usually how judgment manifests, it is like, um, say you do have um, a situation and you do have a couple of options available to kind of like tackle with the situation itself however neither of those options available are really producing the results the results you so much desire so in other words those options available are compromises but not exactly the solution to the breakthrough you're so much hoping to to achieve and bang through very unexpected circumstances that third option available have been brought to your attention and it is exactly the one that you do need in order to achieve the breakthrough you so much desire though it's gonna be a tough one i can re i can assure you that because we do have as a challenges the nine of swords so what that card really points that once you undertake this you know wake up call let's say it that way let's let's identify it that way uh, it will have a huge outlook, if we may say it that way, and it will produce significant consequences upon your career, upon your relationship, upon your life in general. And that is exactly what is going to scare you around. But you need to know that um, as it is valid, that great power bears great responsibility, also a, a, a great breakthroughs produce a great consequences behind them and therefore uh, with this card the challenge for you is to face your fears what i mean is that you are to be afraid what those consequences are going to uh, how those consequences are going to impact your friends your family you know your relationship your career as well and therefore you may be petrified if something goes wrong how you're gonna fix it, what you're gonna do, you know? Well, isn't it as wrong as it can be right now? So any kind of action is actually better than no action at all. So at the end of the day, um, how do you say it? God loves the brave maybe, uh, in the sense of that if you don't try it, you would never know. And besides, uh, the consequences are not gonna be that dramatic let's say it that way and that deteriorating if at all uh, as you are anticipating it's all in your head so moving next we are having the uh, gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week and that will be the gift and the blessing of the strength card well pretty much uh, it's very broad okay uh, it may affect any kind of aspect of your character because this is really what the card points but the biggest gift and the blessing is being aware of what is good for you and what is not good for you and knowing how to react to it okay it's pretty much it will be it, it will come from within what kind of a stance and and also how much enthusiasm and aggression you need to incorporate into uh, a project into a relationship uh, enterprise um friendship affairs and so on and so forth bottom line here it is that through that gift you will be able to persevere through your patience that one uh, that is for one and for a second once you kind of like know what is good for you or once uh, that's uh, third option available that i have spoke for at the start of the reading shows up and you know that that is your cue nothing and i mean nothing will be able to sway you off it even more than that you are to be so convinced, and not just only so convinced, but let's say so, um, how can I say it, um, aware, let's say it that way, uh, that is your thing that you need and you must do, 
that you will feel no obligation whatsoever to explain yourself to anybody around it is because it's your thing it is the thing that makes you break through further into your life and you should not explain yourself or why you undertook actions that actually are going to improve your circumstances it's just you know it's just how the world operates and function uh next one is uh, the uh impression that you are leaving into the people around and that will be the impression of the two of wands now it does depend how this exactly wake up call cue and a piece of the puzzle fits um into the puzzle itself going to play out for you uh the two of wands may take a a, a variety of uh, of stances for example People may see in you a spoiled brat that really wants things right now, this very moment. So in other words, they do see that that's your cue. But at the end of the day, you recklessly takes it without kind of taking under consideration that a lot depends on it. And actually, you know, is going to do as much damage to those around as good is going to do to you. So people are seeing it one sided here okay uh, and in other words they kind of see in you a, a selfish uh, a selfish behavior or uh, people would see that actually you have reached certain potential okay and right now it's all matter of a uh, of a, a preference where you're gonna go from there so in other words you have reached a stage of development and now that stage needs to continue and therefore as that stage needs to continue some brave actions needs to be taken and they completely recognize that what you do right now although it may serve some negative impact on people around you it is actually a necessary action and no one can blame you for it because they would do the same thing okay um other way around so in other words you are to face understanding but uh, suffice to say with the two of ones it's people are going to see in you someone who is looking uh how can i say someone who is looking toward the distant future and it has no intention whatsoever to settle at that stage and the final card that we do have, it refers to the guidance that uh, Tsar is offering to you, Taurus. And that will be the uh, Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords, it's, uh, it does represent that you do need to uh, kind of like uh, rely on your agile intellectual strengths here. So in other words, think, oh my God, poor guy. <laughs> uh, so... You need to dwell on your intellectual strengths. In other words, you have to think twice before you do your actions. Like I said, your actions is going to be predetermined, but how you do it is another thing, okay? And you have to do it as uh, as efficient as possible. And uh, the other thing about the Knight of Swords it is that, um, well, that is kind of fascinating because that is the only sword card that actually cares about what they feel, okay? Because for them, uh, doing something that doesn't correspond with the goal of making yourself happy doesn't make any sense. It's still, you know, logical thinking, but it is a logic turn on preserving your emotions. So in other words, whenever you decide how you are to do something, it always needs to be consulted with your emotions. So that being said, this was your a weekly general tower reading Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as soon as you purchase the reading within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you with an email giving you details how the reading is going to take place. And uh, make sure you check your spam and junk folder for it in case you are not receiving it into your main folder. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.